Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I'm back for another one and I cannot wait to jump in, share and show you what I found over the last few. So I do wanna do that right now. We are about to get into the spring fling items that I found. I'm so completely excited because I can't wait for spring and I was surprised to see these out at this time so here they are in their entirety and I think that they did them so well this year so here is this beautiful camper it makes me so happy with all the flowers the butterflies the glitz and glam all around it they really bedazzled these this year and they just are so incredibly cool and cute so here's the string right there to be able to hang it up and I love every single bit of it then I picked up one of the, uh, well, I actually picked up two of the trucks and two of the campers, but here is a truck right here. And I love the colors that they use with this as well. The flowers in the back of the bed, they do have some that pop out a little bit to give it a little bit of depth. And I love that beautiful pink glitter over the wheels. They did an amazing job and it says happy spring on the door. So I have many, many doors, entryways, closets, all kinds of stuff throughout my house. And I am looking forward to plastering all of these beautiful decorations on every single one. And then this camper, this camper, I think they outdid themselves in the color combination. I just love it. It looks like one of those vintage campers I definitely want to live in. And again, the sparkles, I love that flower arrangement right over the wheel right there, the beautiful windows and how they're set up. And it says, oh, sweet spring on the door in the glitter. So here is this camper and I can't wait to live in one someday. And I don't care if it's even in my driveway at this point. I will live in a camper. <laughs> um, and then this beautiful, beautiful truck, last but not least for these types of items. This one is so beautiful. I love that gorgeous blue color that they did throughout the truck and the glitter above the wheels again with that gorgeous floral arrangement right there and some pop out flowers again to give it a little bit of depth. This is farm fresh flowers right on the door. So I think that they did a better year uh, job this year than they have in a couple of years. I love every single inch of them. Then I did find these big signs. Now I found all four, but two of the signs that I found for the spring line were from last year's bunch. And I got the two that I had not seen prior. So this one says welcome and I think it's absolutely beautiful. The lavender color is what really got me to pick this one up. I love the glitter within the letters and all those beautiful flowers that border the entire sign. Plus that's a little bit of a pop out flower right there. So it gives it a little bit of texture in depth and it's beautiful so and purple is my absolute top notch favorite color what's your favorite color guys what is your beautiful favorite color in the rainbow or otherwise and then right here this beautiful sign I thought was just precious this says hello spring but I love all of the beautiful butterflies fluttering about and these two right here are pop-out butterflies and I think that they did a stellar job on this one too the two from last year are just beautiful too but I already own them so I obviously wasn't going to pick them up a second time and those flowers in the field down at the bottom so there are those and they made me wildly happy. I almost wanted to do like a backhand spring in aisle one because I found those in the party section. I don't know if they're going to remain there. They're going to relocate them. So I don't know really where you're going to be able to find your spring fling stuff, but I will be interested to know where they put yours in the store. <laughs> they seem to be moving everything a hundred different places because of the plus. So that's what's happening at my stores. And this is a floral leaf, uh, floral leaves banner and this is one piece and I think it's so pretty with the drapey flowers so I might I might just drape that along like my um my tv console and the living room and kind of just make a whole entire shelf with all kinds of beautiful flower pots and everything and I love it it's just wispy and nice with all the leaves and the flowers intermingled inside of it so I think this is really cool and cute for a banner really fun time and this is nine feet so that's exceptional it's bright it's vibrant and it makes me smile and makes me happy so i picked that up now okay 
I'm going to keep going with the spring fling stuff. Now, I, I did see a lot of the same silverware that came out last year, a lot of the same type of plates and stuff, but I picked up the ones I did not see or get to use yet. So this is an adorable, beautiful, gorgeous plate. Such a pretty one for even Easter time. It's just so dainty and elegant looking. This says happy spring. Look at that gorgeous butterfly right up there landing on the flower. It's just wispy and nice. So, and it reminds me of like a garden. So I picked that up. What am I doing? What am I losing my marbles? This is 12 paper plates in here. And mind you, I love square plates more than I love any other type of shape of a plate. And then right here, I picked up the napkins that matched it that say happy spring in the middle of the floral uh, wreath with the butterfly. So really cool and cute. And there's 18 count of the napkins inside of here. So I grabbed that. And then these napkins were different, absolutely different than I've ever found in years past. And I love the shape of them, that beautiful rectangle shape. So there's 14 guest napkins napkins here as well and i love all of the vibrant colors of the butterflies throughout this napkin so that's really really cute to just dress a table on a beautiful sunshiny spring afternoon have a little brunch outside on the back porch the front porch or wherever you have your porch sunroom or otherwise or even a stoop sit on the stairs and bring your plates outside have a cup of tea and have yourself a nice little um a nice little sandwich so, so there is that and then these are the plastic plates these are plastic so this is six plastic plates and they're seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches and they did come in four colors but I really liked the color of this one especially so I picked this up so you can definitely reuse these and keep these throughout the spring and the summer or as long as you'd like to keep them because they are you know reusable so I picked those up and I love that it's shaped like a gorgeous flower so loved all of that made me super excited and happy to show you because I know so many of us are looking forward to spring in the worst way and um, I'm the leader of that pack for sure <laughs> and then look at the Tupperware they came out with this year now last year I still have mine that came out with the yellow flowers all around it so this one has a beautiful orange tulip mingled with the little white flowers all throughout the greenery. I think that these are so beautiful and I keep my tea bags in my other one from last year. So it's a great, great, amazing little piece to have in your kitchen, you know, gift to somebody with some cookies in it or some type of a casserole, you know, just something nice to bring to somebody's house as a little host gift. And I think it's really, really attractively pretty. And they've been picking out the best um, print for them. Container and lid. And it does not, it says wash before using and hand wash only. That's what it says on there. So picked this up and I think it is lovely and exciting. Then I found these cups. Uh, all right, I love these cups. I, I haven't found a good saying on these in a while um, that I really wanted to pick up. And this says instant happiness. And that just made me smile from ear to ear. This is a reusable cup. It's microwave safe um, and dishwasher safe. It's BPA free. And there's three cups. And normally I only see them with two. So I was really extra excited for that third one. And I love the lettering and I love the color of these beautiful cups as well so three and then it has like a coffee style lid on there and i think that they're jazzy fresh so i'm excited and i cannot wait to put a little beverage in here and use it so i picked those and they were so incredibly cute I did pick up a car air freshener because finding all of those spring fling items with the butterflies on it, I found two of these. I found it in the blue to what you see here. And then I found another one that is more of like a fuchsia pink one, but I wanted the blue for my car. So this is driver's choice car air freshener, scratch and sniff. It says right on it. So it's ocean breeze and let's scratch and sniff really quick. And it has a nice, beautiful scent. And it says it has suction cups on the back. So that is going to be in my vehicle as I am going to decorate my car for springtime shortly enough. We are in February now, so I am 
ultimately excited that we are getting closer and closer to the warmer months. Up here in Massachusetts, we get cold in September and we are either chilly or cold until at least mid-May before we start getting some warm days that really, you know, soak into our bones. So I just, I'm waiting for it as patiently as I can, but the patients are wearing thin. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think I'd be used to it. I've been here my whole life, but I am just not. This one right here has a great scent I was excited about and I haven't been able to pick up yet. Ultra Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. This is Sandalwood from that beautiful brand right there that I don't like to pronounce out loud because I know I'll say it wrong. This is 300 plus sprays and it's 0.6 fluid ounces and it comes with this great little metal clip right inside of here that you can definitely use reuse and a couple of my beautiful friends here from the village said that they're not sure um, that they heard that these are refillable. So if anybody knows that, please let me know. Um, on the side of it, it says uh, con uh, conscious ingredients, effective against 99.9% .9 of germs, 65% um, ethyl alcohol, up to 24 hours of hydration with hyaluronic acid and acid and aloe. So that's good. And now I can tell you, I can tell you somebody else asked me if it feels any different than regular hand sanitizer, if you feel like it moist, uh, moisturizes your hands when you use it. And with me, I have really dry skin. So it seems as though when I put those on my hands to sanitize, um, they just sink into my hands like any other sanitizer and I always lotion anyhow so I don't really know maybe if I just try to use it and then let them sit for a while and see if I feel any moisture you know in my hands from those sanitizers I can better gauge it if I don't put lotion on right after so we will see about that in the future now I did pick up these wipes and I think that this is great because there are 160 wipes inside of here. They're pre-soaked. So this is a new advanced and it says tough plus non-abrasive all-purpose cleaning wipes. And I found a whole entire shelf of these. So I picked up multiple because I clean my car. I clean my house. I wash down my kitchen cabinets that are all white throughout my whole kitchen. Um, and that's quite a job and my bathroom, you know, uh, stand and sink and everything. So I put these in the bathroom, the car and all the places. And this says that it says that it's good for oil, grease, paint, glue, food stains, soap scum, and easy on hands. So I am excited to have found those. I can never get enough wipes because I honestly wipe up and clean things all week with my wipes from the Dollar Tree. So grabbed that and it made me extra super duper happy. I found more wire baskets. Yes, I did, but I found them in a bigger size. So I'm so excited. I hauled the smaller ones several hauls ago. That is just one of them that I'm showing you to compare the size. So this one is flatter, longer, wider, and all the things. And that is the one that I showed you before. And I got that one in all four colors as well. So these are just great trays. I could actually pot plants in these, put them on the porch and just have them. Then I can grab them, pick them up, move them around if I want to plant out back or in the front or on the side of the house. And I thought that they were just great for great for tray purposes, but you can do whatever your little heart fancies with these. This is from Storage Essentials and this is a wire basket. So we have the blue one here, really great. Um, we also have the pink. So I absolutely love the beautiful pink color. I love all the colors. I love all the colors. <laughs> we have this really, really nice gray one here. So there is that one. And then we have that beautiful, gorgeous green. So the green is very attractive and nice. And I got all four and that other size as well. And I think that those are going to be really helpful and useful because I plan on trying to plant a lot more this year, start off small in the little containers and hopefully be able to replant some growth. And I'm excited to try that out. Now I did find some more bloopers. I found one pair a couple of weeks ago from the crazy boxers with the grizzly bear on it. And I said, I hope I find more because it would be nice to get some bloomers for $1.25 because packages of, 
underwear are so expensive if you get them at Walmart or any other place. I don't particularly like the image of that scary looking um, wolf on here, <laughs> but you know what? They're soft. Um, they are just a very nice quality. They have a nice stretch to the band and they are a size XL, but they did have this particular one in all of the sizes from small all the way to XL. So they're a great size. They come down on the leg really nice and uh, excellent quality, excellent, wonderful quality. So I picked up yet another pair of those. Sorry, crash, bang, boom, all the baskets went down. So I was happy anyways to see a different image than what I've already um, picked up. Now I found these adorable little socks. I thought that these were super duper extra fun and exciting. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons, no show, shoe size seven and a half to three and a half. And there are five pairs in here. So five wonderful pairs for $125. Um, I don't know what Animal Crossing is, but it looks pretty, pretty adorably cute. And these are great for gifting away to one of my small little people that needs some new socks. So there they are. And I can't wait to pass them on to one of my sweet little babes. I found some great, fantastic stickers that I'd never discovered before. And I picked up every single one. This is the um, two pieces of the stickers. They're pop-up. So we have this one right here that says magic. And this one down here that says Miracle. And I love the images above each one. I love the hot air balloon and the unicorn. They are so wildly vibrant and happy. Then we have this one right here, which is, um, this one is Mind and Spirit. So really, really pretty. And then we have Believe and Dream. So, so cute. And then love and more. So I love that one. And this one is in perfect time for Valentine's Day in just a couple of days. So I thought that those were really excellent. And then I picked up these two because they were super duper extra bright and springy. This is 12 pieces of the pop-up. And I love all of those really, really pretty flowers. I think that they do such a nice job with these packages for $125 because I go to some of those other stores and I try to look at like what they offer for stickers and just even a small package goes well above $125. So the fact that the Dollar Tree can keep coming up with great ones to scrapbook with, make cards with, and all the things that you can do with stickers is really exceptional for that price. And I absolutely love the roses and they look so realistic and there's 10 of them in here. So that was very happy and exciting. Now we got to get into something that I can't even, I still can't even believe that I found this. Now, of course, of course, my little muffins, I'm going to have a hard time finding it. I found it though. Um, okay. So I found some amazing little products here and this is Harry Potter. This is the Harry Potter Ushies and this is the wizarding, wizarding world. This is Find That Limited Edition Golden Harry Potter. So these are little blind uh, balls or whatever you want to call them. You break them open and then you can find all of the little characters inside, collect them and everything. I was so excited when I found these. I was ready to like jump through, through my skin at this point. And then we found this one right here, which is DC Ushis. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, this is one Ushi pencil topper and it says find the limited edition golden armored Batman. And these are so incredibly fun and fantastic. So I cannot wait to gift these away. I have some for myself and I cannot wait to break into them and show you guys what I found. Um, we have this Disney one right here. This one is uh, two included. Surprise stamp set. So there's nine to collect all together. So I picked up one package of this just to see what type of a stamper I would get. So that is really cool and cute to have a Disney blind bag. Then I also found this one from Space Jam. And this one right here looks really fun and fancy. This says there are many figures inside and it says series two, 20 to collect. So here is that one 
right there, a good size. So I can only imagine what is going to come out of that. Then I found more of the totally tiny little food um, items. This is collect them all collectibles. This is four plus blind bag pouch surprise. So I picked up one bag of this so that I could see what we would get inside. And this one came out a long time ago, but it didn't offer any of these style food inside of the package. So I can't wait to tear this open and see what I could have potentially gotten out of that particular bag. Then I found this one from Raya, The Last Dragon, which is Disney. And look at the packaging, how fun and fancy this is. You know, Easter is just going to come upon us just like every other holiday does really fast. If you made a whole entire Easter basket of all blind bags, boxes, balls, all of that, I think that that would be a incredibly fun and exciting and with some Easter candy in it it won't break the bank if you can find these at the Dollar Tree and you can spruce up a cute little basket in a minute now this is among us I don't know what this is I've never seen it before find a hidden figure there's many figures inside of here and um, it says 18 to collect and I don't know what kind of figures because it doesn't even show me uh, other than that guy up there. So I'm very, very curious to know what is going to come out of there and if it's a show or anything like that. So if any of you know, I would love it if you'd enlighten me. Now I did pick up one that I've already opened from the Harry Potter one and I wanted to show you what I got inside of it. I got Hermione. Now, did I say that right? I don't know because I love Harry Potter, but I always had a hard time saying this little chick's name. These are squishy and just so chubby and cute and rubbery. And she's an adorable little figure to find in there for $125. Sorry, I just nudged you with one of my blind balls. <laughs> and then this is the paper that comes inside of the box, um, the little ball so that you can see who you could get. Yeah, Hermione. I think Hermione Granger. And so that is what you could potentially collect in every single one. So I very well may get more. And if I do and I do open them, I will share a picture of them all lined up on my community tab, which is right here on my page, so that you can see them and what I got out of each one. I love that and I was so excited to show you that. Now, okay, I did find some wonderful books and this one I think and hope that you guys are going to love it just as much as I did. This is Kittens. Um, this is a sticker activity book. More than 100 reusable stickers inside. Is that not the most adorable thing you've ever seen in all your days? I've never owned a cat, and um, but I've always loved all animals. I've always been a dog girl, but cats have definitely grown on me. And I'm kind of sad at this point in my life that I am so allergic because I think I would get a cat at this point. And will you look at the beautiful stickers inside of this book? They are so completely gorgeous and precious, and it just makes me so happy to look at it. And then if you wanted to use the stickers right within this book, they have all of these cool pages to plaster them on. But you could definitely just use the stickers for whatever you choose. You could put them on cards to send out and use them in a sticker book or let your kids plaster them all over themselves and you as well. <laughs> so I picked that up. Then I found these really awesome books right here. And I picked up all four because I thought that they were so fun. This is Dress Up Girls Paper Dolls. So paper dolls are super duper exciting. This is such a throwback with over 60 fashion pieces. So look at what we have here. We have all these gorgeous, amazing outfits. This is a nice thick book so that you can choose the style of the day. Or what do they call it? Outfit of the day. Whatever those cool terms are and you can put them on her. So there she is on the back and she's fancy fantastic. So I grabbed that one. Then I also picked up this one, which is uh, the same thing. Oh, they have names down in the corner. So this is Tammy. Hey, Tammy girl. And then this one is Ellie. And isn't she fancy fancy? And look at her outfits. Wow, that one looked like Belle. And that looks a little bit like Cinderella-ish. And oh, there's a mermaid outfit. That made me wildly happy because you know I think I'm a mermaid. There's some PJs and there she is on the back to get all dolled up and ready to go out on the town. 
And then we have this one. And what's her name? Lola. That's one of my favorite names. Lola and Sophia and Zoe are my favorite girl names. Um, so here she is. Let's see what she has. Ooh, there's another mermaid style. We got a peacock and everything. This girl is fun and eccentric like me. And there she is on the back. So she's awesome. And this is Maya. Maya, I love that name too. That's a really pretty name. So here is her beautiful fairy outfit. She's got some winter attire. Um, another Cinderella inspired dress. And there she is on the back. So really, really cool and cute, wouldn't you say? That is a happening, awesome, fantastic time. And I would still do paper dolls right now at the age of 42. And I probably will at some point. <laughs> so last but not least, I got these two books for my mom. And I think she's going to be so excited about it. This is an Amish flower farm. And this is Mindy Steele. And this book went for this book hello can we see the price hey hey little babe it doesn't say the price on it it just says the code on the back so i don't know what's up with that but this is a hallmark story so that's really really awesome and i think she's gonna love it and look at how thick and big this beautiful book is it says she grows flowers um he raises bees for honey they help each other out because that's what neighbors do yes it is that is what neighbors are supposed to do so picked that one up and then i found this one right here next to it this one is when love finds you virginia wise challenge a new uh challenge a new land find your heart so this one went for $7.99. Did I miss it just on the side or something? No, I didn't. This one obviously was free wherever it came from. <laughs> um, yeah, but it says $7.99 outside of the Dollar Tree. And this is a nice, great, big, beautiful, thick book too. So it says in the latest novel, in Virginia Wise's stirring hist uh, historical saga about America's first Amish settlement, a uh, once privileged woman in a very difficult new world soon finds that hope and love are worth the challenge. So that is what that one says. And I love it. And I think she's going to be really super duper stoked about it. So that is it. Is that it? Yes, that's it. That's it. Happy, happy Saturday, Dollar Tree Hall. I love all of you beautiful faces. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you want to stick around for one second, I have something to say. So my beautiful honey muffins, my village, my wonderful family that I adore. And I am so thankful, grateful, and blessed to be on this journey and on this platform with every single one of you in so many different ways. I've connected with amazingly, incredibly beautiful, special people. You have impacted my life. You have impacted my family's life. And I am just so completely honored that you spend any amount of time with me because I can tell you, I know how crazy my life is. And that is why I said that my channel's name, if I was going to start this journey, would be Crazy Days of Callan because my whole life has been literally bananas. It has been wildly crazy. And so I've always been honest about that. And um, so... The fact that you take time out of your day and all the things that you have going on to even watch me for one minute, 30 seconds, whatever it is. I am just so grateful. I have such an amazing community here that I feel so fortunate to be a part of and I just can't thank you enough. And I do want to say that this is an, an announcement to um, a giveaway because we've hit 5,000 family members. Um, I, I very rarely, if ever, call you guys subscribers because, I mean, to me, I feel like I'm literally just sitting here with friends. I know that you guys aren't immediately in front of me, but when I turn on this camera, I feel a connection with people that I talk to often in the comments, on um, Instagram messages, in my email, you know, several, like an abundance of you now, speak to on a personal level, um, and when I connect with you, even in this way and know that I'm going to communicate with you and have this time with you, I feel initially like you guys are here with me, just hanging out, having a haul, shopping together and opening up our fi finds together at the kitchen table. And I just feel like this is my piece. This is my time out from my crazy days of Callan. This is my time out in my days to take a deep breath, have fun, have some laughs, just be myself, take a load off. And 
and you do it with me and I thank you so much. But we have hit 5,000 family members here and I am so thankful, so thankful that everybody is so kind and so nice because I'm a super sensitive person. So that's one of the things I was like the most scared about to be on YouTube. Um, and everybody is just so, so kind. And I love positivity. I love happiness and kindness. And if this wasn't that for me, I wouldn't do it. Um, because it, I just don't want anything harmful to my journey from this point on in my life when I started this. So the fact that you're all as amazing as you are and have the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever been fortunate enough to meet. Um, is amazing and incredible to me. So we have grown so much in such a short time in the last like year and a half and we've hit 5,000 and I am just so thankful. Like I already said, I know I'm rambling because I'm emotional and I'm sorry, um, but we have hit every milestone of 100 and I've always done a giveaway since I hit 100 subscribers. So I've always continued to do that. And as long as I can, I will always continue to do that. But now I kind of combine them and um, do multiple at a time. So the last time we, um, you know, we did a giveaway, it was because we celebrated, I think, three or four. I think it was three um, ones all the way up to 4,600 subscribers. Now we're celebrating 4,700 subscribers, 4,800 subscribers, 4,900 subscribers, and 5,000 subscribers. So I'm doing four giveaways and down in the comments below on this video, leave me what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? And if you leave that in the comment section down below, I will take that as an entry to win um, or attempt to win one of the giveaways um, out of the four. And it will be a $10 gift card each uh, for the Dollar Tree or Walmart. It will be completely your choice. And we will discuss that in private through my email when I pick the four names. So if you guys can give me a week I will announce the giveaway at the end of the video next week on Saturday um, when I post my Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul and I will let you guys know who the four picks are for the four different giveaways for the $10 gift cards. And that's it. So leave me on this video, what is your favorite color? You also need to be 18 years and older. You have to be a subscriber. You, If you hit the like button or the thumbs down, I mean, it's completely up to you. Either one, if you hit like or dislike, it's just giving me a reaction. Um, and that helps me to know and figure out like how I can do better or, you know, if I'm doing okay on YouTube in your eyes. Um, and then if you leave me a comment, even if it's emojis, that's an interaction between between the two of us and it helps me to know who's hanging out with me and I just love to see it. So I'm sorry that this has been such a long announcement but I do feel super emotional and Richie's going to go get me a five balloon and a K balloon and I'm going to take some pictures. The last time I took pictures was when I hit a thousand subscribers. So now that I've hit 5k, um, we're going to go do some pictures over the next couple of weekends of just some happy shots with balloons and stuff. And I'll post those on the community tab when I do, but I thank you guys for everything, for absolutely everything. And I love you to the moon and the stars in the sky. And I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, fancy weekend. And I will see you on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Hall. I love all your faces. Bye, everyone.